Hi, Kelly here, and is it just me, or does CC stand for a lot of things? Like, let's just say I go to a website, uh, I don't know, ethylinks.wiki, and I scroll, scroll, scroll to, the, to the bottom of the website, which is ethylinks.wiki, and heck, it's, it's not as long as that wiki, it's as long as that old my bad. Freak, it's not to work, it's not without the W. Freaking, this is, go to as long as that art. Go to the, wait, no, it's probably the name. Wait, CC, uh, C, no, <laughs> I'm going to CC, like, C with my eyes, no, no, no. Uh, it says, uh, okay, so, I go to slangs.org, scroll, to the bottom and then I read content is available under CC0 public domain dedication and the CC stands for obviously Creative Commons that's a thing so you can use other people's content I guess and the logo is CC too but if you just like what is called like hover around where you're watching which is YouTube I get, I think mostly if you if you're on YouTube and like hover you see this button on the in the bottom left CC CC button it's also CC but this time it stands for closed captioning and if you just stay on YouTube and like search search for a channel like for some, I don't know, chemistry tutorials, you're probably gonna see a crash course video on it. CC, another YouTube channel, a popular YouTube, relatively popular YouTube channel, I guess, is Jan Misli, which is, I guess, most well known for their content, their series, Conlang Critic, Chris Hein Conlang. CC, I guess another one of his YouTube videos is like the unit thing where it's all C. Uh, everything, everything is CC. Uh, so, is it just me or does CC stand for a whole bunch of different things? Um, hey, it's me again, Kelly, and um, it looks like ask Kelly for gore how directions work. The CC button on YouTube is in the bottom right. Other than that, yeah, CC stands for a bunch of things. Creative Commons, Closed Captions, Crash Course, Conline Critic, Catholic Church, Cubic Centimeter, Climate Crisis, Calico Cat. And you can just make a CC phrase on the spot like, uh, I don't know. Crazy, crazy, crazy chicken and candy collider and... No, I didn't say anything inappropriate. Try to make your own CC phrase. Not that hard, right? So, are CC acronyms that abundant or am I just biased because my name starts with the letter C? Well, I could try to find a dataset of all the acronyms in the English language and count them. But let's try to predict which letter might have the most acronyms by counting every starting letter of every English word. Okay, so I got this long ass word list and I have this derpy ass python script and run! Alright, so S is the most common letter to start a word. Okay, and then P and then C and A and M and the rest don't matter to be honest. So according to this, S should have the most acronyms, not C, 
I might be biased after all. C still came third there, so who knows. This only counts the letters starting every word and doesn't really count existing acronyms. I need some sort of list of all acronyms. Okay, Wikipedia has a list of acronyms, but I need a downloadable thing of all the acronyms. Oh, here's one. Thanks, Tech Exchange. Hmm, this repository is good. But unfortunately, it doesn't give every possible meaning of each acronym. Okay, let's see the other Tech Exchange answer. There doesn't seem to be a proper acronym project, unfortunately. Ah, Wiktionary, huh? Oh, it has a nice initialism category. The annoying part will be that you have to import everything and then parse out the initialisms and their meanings. <sighs> so I need to download the backup data dump of Wiktionary. Wait, how much gigabytes? Eh, I have good internet, so... This shouldn't be a problem. Do they slap? Hmm. Are there any mirrors? Nope. No, not, not this one. No. Oh, this. This is slow. But still much faster compared to the first one. Okay, download it and extract it. How do I process this? Um, why are all the processing software for this outdated? Okay, let's just... This is... How to process Wiktionary dump... Wait, wait, wait a minute. There's been a pre-processed Wiktionary dump this whole time? Myself. This file has more than 1 million lines filled with definitions and etymologies, so I'm worried it's going to take a while to filter. In fact, I was so worried about it taking too long that I use Rust to filter it. Yes, me, Cat Brain Cali, using Rust. I mean, it's not actually complicated. It only takes every line containing the word initialism and puts it in another file. Initialism is, by the way, a synonym to acronym. Initialism meaning abbreviating words with each first or initial bit of each word makes more sense than acronym. But acronym has less syllables so I'm gonna use that and no, you cannot convince me those two words mean different things. They are synonyms. Anyways, now that we've narrowed it down to 100,000 potential acronyms, I can use another Python script to go through each acronym and collect their meanings and put them all into one JSON file. My thing to do now is count them. So, okay, I have the numbers. In total, there's 17,000 acronym meanings found. And the acronym with the most different meanings, with a whopping 97 meanings, is Bongo Roll Please. Ah! Or AA. Keep in mind that it's not case sensitive, and this includes the meaning from lowercase. Ah! Yep, it's AA, not CC, or SS for that matter. It stands for everything from Academy Awards to anti-aliasing to even anti-antibody. Yep, anti-antibodies are a real thing. Also, anti-proton accumulator, astroasiatic acrylic acid, always afloat, and 90 other things. Whoa. In second place, there's ah. Yep, it's AAA. That is three A's with 72 meanings. Lots of Americans, associations, and other organizational words. Third place is AAG with 42 meanings. Nice. CC might not be in the top five, but part of it definitely is. Fourth place is CCA with 41 meanings. Actually, CC just teamed up with A, teamwork. Yay. 
And fifth place is ABC with 38 meanings, with noteworthy meanings such as ATP binding cassette and alien big cat. Now this, this is interesting, I think, ABC. I don't think ABC would have this many meanings if the Latin alphabet isn't ordered A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, N, T, U, V, B, B, W, X, Y, Z. The Xavier Wolf hypothesis might actually be true in one small way. 6th place, 7th place, and 8th place are PC, AC, and SMP, all very close, and yes, SMP stands for other things than survival multiplayer. And finally, tied for 9th place and 10th place is CC and CR. Although it's not 1st place, CC still got in the top 10. These numbers are cool and all, but it doesn't really tell us much about all acronyms in general. So I've come up with a new statistic. It's meanings per letter or MPL. For example, CCA has 41 meanings. That means the letter C gets 41 points twice and the letter A gets 41 points only once. What I've done is go through every acronym and tell you their points like that. I just count all the meanings and put them all into the letters points. Yeah. As you can see, we have the same 10 letters from the top 10 letters to start the word, which is a bit of a different order and you and I switch route. A is first place, S is second place, C is still third place surprisingly enough. Hmm, but why is A first place? Why isn't it S? Why isn't S first place? Earlier we learned that S is the most common letter to start a word, but then why is A first place? Hmm, remember how I mentioned that a lot of the acronyms contain the word America? What if A is first place due to the western-centric nature of English-speaking internet? So, I went to the Wikipedia list of adjectival and demonymic forms for countries and nations, and also the list of alternative country names, just in case. Then parse for the country names using this nice web scraping python module called butterfly soup, I mean beautiful soup, and find all of the acronym meanings that don't mention any of those country related words. Then I used the python script from earlier to count them again. And after counting them again, when you look at the top 10 acronyms with the most meanings, it's still the same top 10 acronyms. The order only changed a little, even though I got rid of any acronym meanings that mentioned any country names. And the top 10 letters with the most used by acronym list barely will change at all. Oh well. But then why does AA have so many meanings? I don't know. A is, after all, the fourth most frequent word to start a letter. Wait, what? <laughs> a is, after all, the fourth most frequent letter to start a word. That is so... F it's, uh, this... Who wrote this script? A is, after all, the fourth most frequent letter to start a word. But why not SS? Maybe it's the same reason why ABC has a lot of meanings. Like, hey, A is a nice letter, it's the first one. So they just keep making more acronyms. And the acronyms are more likely to stick. But why is the alphabet ordered that way? Why is A first and then B and then C? I don't know, nobody fucking knows. It's arbitrary, it's insane. It's crazy. It's like, this the same, this, it's like, it's like this, the same order for the past few thousand years, it just happened to be that for way. For all we know, it could be that the Queen Emphasis Supreme Ruler of Orthographville asked the letters to line up and A and B just happened to be quick runners, I don't know. Conclusion? CC does have a lot of meanings, but not as much as Thanks for watching this mess. This is a video I made to just 
start making videos not too much effort you know i have too many i have too many ideas for videos and have a few unfinished videos but they're all too hard to make and i just keep keep procrastinating it's just too fucking hard. they're just too too hard to videos to make so i'm just like this is just a video to like start making videos it's not a hard video to make like you know oh you can download the files with all the stats and acronyms from the github gist in the description no i don't want to release the source code i'm not even planning to it's several times more of a mess than this video but if this video gets 10 likes i will reconsider Okay, subscribe and I'm not doing all that video. I'm not being called, I'm not being called, I'm not being called. Comment any video ideas or things you want to say or something except saying that my voice sucks because I know. Or it's just, it just sounds bad or maybe, I don't know. Does it, does it sound like maybe, maybe it's, maybe you think it sounds good or maybe, I don't know. Or maybe comment that, that my voice is good or I don't know. It's, it's up to you. Choose wisely. Oh, and follow me on Tumblr or Twitter. I guess to see my sanity crumble in real time. Okay, bye bye. That's the end of the video. Yay.